This is a picture of my setup for my LX200. A fellow astrometer had suggested that I use a diagonal mirror and get my imaging train to go up vertically instead of straight out the back. I use a two inch diagonal to get the system to go up. It works fine uh, and it could possibly avoid contact with the wedge and the base of the telescope. I have tried the 90 degree setup a few times and I have some thoughts. Pros are it reduces if not eliminates contact to the wedge and the telescope base. The cons are I presently cannot get the telescope to balance at all the points from 90 degrees straight up to the horizontal position pointing south. I can get some balance at several positions from the horizontal upward but not straight up. The other setup that was straight out the back of the telescope I was able to balance at all points from 90 degrees straight up to the horizontal pointing south. Tracking seems to be less accurate than the other setup. This is probably related to the balance issue. Things noticed and to remember, telescope focal length increases. Nina during a plate solve gave a warning about the focal length. It was more than my telescope. I cannot remember what the other setup's focal length was, but it also was not the same as my telescope. I was not using a focal reducer or Barlow. When I get the warning showing the focal length calculated, I just go back into the telescope specs and Nina and change the focal length to what the warning gave. After that, it all works. If you are using the Mead Micro Focuser, you will need to very slightly increase the tension on the ball bearings to keep the focus tube from sliding due to the weight of the diagonal and the imaging camera. I think it probably is a good idea to do that also with the one that comes straight out the back, that system. Tighten down all connections to the rear sail attachment, diagonal extension pieces and screws for, micro, for the micro focusers attachment to the rear sail and items holding the image train. The first night out I tried to set up and the imaging train rotated on me during a slew. Thank goodness I was able uh, to stop it but I was close by. Maybe a strap on the back of the telescope would help stop the catastrophe. It's a system is good but maybe I need to work on the balance and the tracking issue.